Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to install and configure the free IPA server on Alma Linux 9. First of all, ensure this installation is done on a freshly installed Alma Linux 9 or Rocky Linux 9 system since IPA service ports could conflict with other Linux services. Now, update your server. Once rebooted, set the correct system host name. The host name must be a fully qualified domain name, such as the following. Once set also configure the system time zone to match your region. Confirm your time zone settings. Next, use the following commands to check CPU, memory, and disk space on your Alma Linux 9 instance. Add the free IPA server IP address and its DNS name inside the following file. Next, validate your IP settings. Verify the reverse DNS configuration, PTR records, is set correctly in your DNS server using the following command. Next, we perform the installation of free IPA packages on the Alma Linux 9 server. No extra RPM repository is required. All the packages and dependencies are available in default OS default repositories. Install all free IPA server and client packages with the following command. Free IPA server configuration is done using the following command. Next, the script prompts for several required settings and offers recommended default values in brackets. To accept a default value, press enter. To provide a custom value, enter the required value. Set the directory manager password. Set the IPA admin password. If your free IPA server installation on Alma Linux 9 was successful, you will see the following output. Next, open free IPA service ports on the firewall. To do this, run the following commands. Then reload firewall configuration for the change to take effect immediately. And list allowed services on the firewall. After installation, the free IPA server web-based administration console can be accessed using the server hostname on HTTPS. Ignore the SSL warning by the following. Log in with the admin username and password set during installation. Upon successful login, you're presented with an interface that has such a look. The IPA command can be used to perform all free IPA server operations. But first, get the admin user Kerberos ticket. The time validity of the assigned ticket can be checked using KList. Set the user's default shell as the following. Test by adding a user account and listing accounts present. To list user accounts added, run the following command. And you can see the result as follows.